Hello everybody, Diplexate here. I wanted to update my Vault 88 atrium design to me, the old one, especially when decorating. I felt it was too claustrophobic. The stairs are too close to the bridge. I wanted to update that. If this video was informative, please give it a like. And I have a bunch of follow-up videos planned, so if that sounds interesting to you, consider subscribing. So to start things off, head to Structures, head to Vault, Domestic. You want to find the domestic stairs. It looks like this. Connect it to the hallway you came in from. Then under the same tab, you want to find domestic hall to doorway it looks like this make sure the doorway is facing away from the staircase then under the vault tab you want to build supports for the staircase it should look something like this then head to the atrium tab. Find what's called the atrium doorway top. Connect it like so. Then under the same atrium tab, you want to find what's called the atrium ceiling. Go ahead and connect it just like that. In total, including these end caps, you want nine of them. So three of these, one end, and then three on the other side, and then the other end cap. So in total, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It should look something like that. Do the same thing on the other side. It should look something like this. You want to fill in the gaps here. My personal preference is to have the overseer's room on the left side from the doorway because there's less room over here. There's enough room to build an overseer's room, but nothing else. Or if you do it on this side, unless you want buildings all around it, you're gonna waste a lot of space. So head to the atrium tab. You want to find both the wall middle and the overseer's window. On the other side, for now, you can just put two wall middles. Then you want to find the atrium corner top. It looks like this. Go ahead and place it on each corner. Then you want to connect those corners using the atrium wall top, which looks like this. Your atrium should look like this so far. You want to do the same thing, just this time you want to use the corner bottoms and the wall bottoms. So fill in the corners. Then 
connect the corners using the atrium wall bottoms. The atrium should look like this. Then go ahead and fill in the floor using just the atrium floor. There you go. Then you want to find, they're called the atrium hanging floor. There's a bunch of them, so for the corners, you want to find the hanging floor corner that looks like this. It has the hooks, it has two hooks compared to just one. So it looks like this. You want to put this in each of the corners. And you want to connect them using this hanging floor. There's this one that has no hooks, and there's this one that has the hooks that fasten to the wall. Connect it just like this. you go then head to structures vaults railing and stairs the stairs look like this you want to put one there and you want to put one facing the overseer's window and you want to find under the same tab you have a bunch of bridges you want to find this one the one where the railings curl outwards you want to put one right in front of the door you came in from, and you want to put one across from it. You want to connect the bridges using this piece. It looks like this. And then right in the middle of the bridge, so one, two, three, four, five, you want to replace the floor with the atrium column. It looks like this. It can be found under structures, vault, atrium. And it just supports the bridge. It looks something like this. And under railings and stairs, you want to rail off the balcony. When it comes to the corners, there's two different corner railings. Only one will work. Like this one works, this one just doesn't work. So just use the one that snaps. As you can see, this railing connects perfectly with the bridge. When it comes to the staircases, you want to use the railings that curl at the end. There's two different variants. 
There's a short one and there's a long one. You want to make sure you have the long one. It prevents you from walking off the edge. If you have the short one, you and settlers can just fall right off. Do the same thing on the other side. And there's one last thing. And then you want to fill in the door here. And you want to put the window, you want to put the glass in the overseer's window. If you do it the other way around, so you build the overseer's room, then you go to put in the glass, it won't let you. I don't know why, it's just a bug. There you go. If you're like me, this wall mid over here, you hate that it has the orange connection thing. I have a fix for that. This is purely cosmetic, so if that doesn't bother you, you can just leave it. So for the time being, you want to store the hanging floor, the stair, and this. Head to your, the same column we use to support the bridge. You want to connect it under there because it acts as... It's perfectly level with the orange thing. So just throw the balcony in just for now, just so you can get up there. And build a staircase up. Go down here, get rid of the floor for a moment. And then under vault, under atrium, at the end here, they have what's called a trim. Now, this side looks really good. This side is what we're trying to get rid of. If you go and place it normally, it just snaps to the other side. So what you can do is, you want to line it up with one of the floors, like this. Then if you store the floor, you have the trim and it's perfectly, it's perfectly straight. So you want to rug glitch it into place. So go to decorations, floor covering. I would say just try and use one rug if you can. Line it up with the mat. You might have to remove these for the, just so it doesn't get up. And then just just go up there. Line it into place. If it doesn't fit, you might have to use two rugs instead of one. So we'll get rid of the mat. Editor's note. Don't place the trim on top of the mat. Place it as close as you can to it. If you place it on top, it lifts it up by a tiny bit and it won't align perfectly with the um the um the support we have in the way. And line it up to the best of your ability. So if you get rid of the rug now, it should go down a little bit. 
Yeah, and it should hide. Oh, I didn't line that up perfectly, but if you line it up perfectly, it should hide the that orange bit. So now you can just go get rid of this and fill in what you have to take away. So go back to the atrium tab. Fill in the floor. If it doesn't work, you're gonna have to move the floors for a moment. And then put them back. There you go. That's a way better Vault 88 atrium in my opinion. The only thing that I'm not that big of a fan of is you have to come in from the side. However, the justification for that is you get a bigger atrium and I guess it's unique. No other vault in the Commonwealth you come in from the side every other vault you enter the atrium and you face the overseer's window so it separates it from the rest i forgot to mention a few weeks ago i made a video going over how to light the atrium to vault 88 now this video showcases a different atrium design however i'll have a link to the video up in the corner and at the end of the video, the same technique applies, just the atrium is positioned a little bit differently. So if you found this video informative, please give it a like. If you want more, if you want to see more Fallout 4 videos made by me, uh, within a week I should have a video going over how to light the entrance to Vault 88 without mods. It's very difficult. My technique, you don't see any wires, you don't see any of the lights, but it will look very similar to Vault 81. No mods. Thank you. If that sounds interesting to you, uh, consider subscribing. Thank you so much. <laughs>